Hello, my name is Dre Baldwin, a.k.a. Dre All Day. Y'all also may know me as Mr. Work On Your Game. <laughs> Graduated from Penn State Altoona in 2004 with an idea of getting into pro basketball. Problem was I had not even played my senior year. I got kicked out of the program by my ex-NBA player coach. So in order to get into the pros, I knew I was going to have to go to an exposure camp. And for those who don't know what an exposure camp is, it's kind of like a job fair for basketball players. So going to that exposure camp in 2005, I played pretty well. I obtained a VHS tape from the camp and that video file Knowing that I didn't want to try to hold on to a VHS tape for 20 years, I put it on this new website that hosted videos called YouTube. I had no idea what YouTube was about. I didn't even care. I just needed a place to put my highlight tape. Put the highlight tape on there, and all of a sudden, people started watching this video. And people started leaving comments like, oh, you're a good player. Can you tell me how to jump higher? Can you tell me how to dribble? Can you tell me how to shoot better? I had no idea that anybody would even give a damn about my video back then. So from there, I would reply to their questions with another video. Maybe I do some dribbling. Maybe I shoot some foul shot. And it just went from there. And all this time, I did actually get into the pros. I've been off and on over the last 10 years. Some years I've been able to sign a contract. Some years I did not sign a contract. So in between years, I would post videos on YouTube every now and then. People will leave comments, they like the videos, but I never paid much attention to YouTube because it was just a hobby site back then. It was just a hobby for me. I was working out every day anyway, but as far as making the videos, I didn't really care. And one day, my then girlfriend showed me an article about this woman named Michelle Fine and this thing called the Partner Program. So I applied for the Partner Program and I was quickly rejected for the Partner Program. And they told me it took 60 days between when you get rejected and you can apply again. So over that next 60 days, I started brainstorming what can I do that would get me accepted? What am I missing? So I decided that I would take all the knowledge I had in basketball and put it out every single day on YouTube. The problem at the time was I thought I would probably run out of ideas after about 30 days. Over that next 60 day period, as I did start putting out videos, I think I made it about 60 days putting out a video every single day. I thought I was at my wit's end of knowledge of basketball, and I was accepted to the partner program. That was in October of 2009. So here we are in 2014, 4,000 videos later, I have yet to miss a single day posting new content to YouTube. My channel has always been based on basketball skill development content. I started posting basketball drills, simple stuff, ball handling, how you shoot a basketball, how you move your feet, the fundamentals of playing the game. In the course of me doing all these workouts every single day and posting these videos to my channel, people started asking me, Dre, what is your motivation? So I started sharing with people kind of the mental side of how I approach the game, mental side of how I approach life. As far as the tutorials and things, those are really the most popular type of videos I put out. My most successful videos have all been instructional videos. This is how you do it videos. My most popular video to date is the NBA crossover tutorial where I'm giving a straight tutorial on how to do a crossover dribble move, which is more than just the ball, is a movement of your hands, is your shoulders, is your head, is your feet, and is also the balance of your weight. My favorite video that I've ever done is probably my left hand daily circuit video, where I'm explaining to people, this is how you can develop your non-dominant hand for basketball. You do this dribble, you do this movement, you shoot these shots. A couple years ago, since players had asked me all the time, Dre, you're doing all these workouts, we can see how good of a player you are. Why don't you play in the NBA? I tried to explain to people year after year, you can't just fill out an application. You can't just walk up to the manager. You have to be invited to get to the NBA. I'll try to explain that to people over and over again. But I said, okay, let me engage people and see what happens here. Let's try this sign Dre Baldwin thing. I knew I needed to come up with a hashtag to get people actually interested in it. So I came up with this whole campaign. I had a link, an annotation on the video. All right, click this to tweet out sign Dre Baldwin. I woke up the day that video came out and I had like 500 at replies from people tweeting out sign Dre Baldwin. And it's not even so much that I think people, there were a lot of people who believed I can make it, but I think people were just excited at the, the grandiosity of the idea. Some guy coming off YouTube to get to the NBA, people were like, wow, I can't believe that this dude would even have the audacity to try it. 
and nobody else would have the audacity to, to do that. So that's what made it such a big campaign. And the funny thing about the Sandre Baldwin is I targeted this guy named Daryl Moore, who's the general manager of the Houston Rockets. He's the only general manager in the NBA who I knew of who was actually active on social media. He was on Twitter. So I made a video one day and I said, we're going to go after this general manager of the Houston Rockets. So I made another click to tweet things. Pretty sure, because Daryl Moore never replied to me, I'm pretty sure he blocked the hashtag on his Twitter app because he had like 300 at replies of people tweeting, yo, sign Dre Baldwin. So the sign Dre Baldwin campaign actually did not work in one way, but it did work in another way because it let people know, like, I'm not afraid to take that big risk, take that big chance. Just the fact that it was so big, people had to respect. It. So during the NBA lockout one day, his basketball guy called me and said, yo, this is such and such, this is Dre Ball. And I said, yeah, this is Dre. He said, yo, ain't you the dude on YouTube with all the videos? I said, yes, I am. And he said, well, I'm training a bunch of NBA players. We're gonna be playing basketball tonight. Come to the gym. I get to the gym and there's a guy, I'm not gonna name drop this guy, but we get into the gym. He had just gotten drafted to the NBA. He actually ended up becoming the rookie of the year that season. We get on the court, I walk up to him, introduce myself. He says, yo, man, I've been watching your videos since ninth grade. I played with a bunch of NBA players, all the ones who have heard of me tell me the exact same thing. I like what you do. I respect your work. My kids watch your videos. If I was to go through my whole career everywhere I've been, let me see if I can remember. Uh, Lithuania, Mexico, Germany, Montenegro, Croatia, Slovakia, London, the back ends of the United States, which was crazy. If you want to get into the Dre All Day brand, then you have to go to where it's birthed at. You have to go to my first child, which is DreAllDay.com. I had a vision of having my own website, a site that was about me, by me, and ultimately it could be only for me. I didn't care if anybody read that site. I just knew I had things that I wanted to express, things I wanted to write, a lot of things that I wanted to say. I wanted a place for that that belonged to me. And that's what became DreAllDay.com. As far as my other content, I've always loved reading, I've always loved writing. So it was only natural that I started blogging so often. I blog post every day right now. I've written four books. My fourth book has just come out in fall 2014. So my brand expands outside of YouTube into writing, the blogging, the public speaking, brand building, just teaching people how they can build their own brands, build their own websites, make a name for themselves, doing the things that they love to do instead of doing the things that they have to do. Thanks for watching. To subscribe to my channel, make sure you click here. And also make sure you subscribe to Whistle Sports for more spotlights.